During the 2011 season, a new movable aerodynamics device was introduced into Formula 1 to improve racing. Welcome to F1 for Dummies, and today we are talking about the drag reduction system used in Formula 1. The drag reduction system, commonly referred to as DRS, is part of the rear wing of the Formula 1 car. The rear wing of an F1 car is designed to generate downforce, which pushes the car down, but it also creates tremendous turbulence, which is known as drag. Drag also reduces the car's top speed. DRS allows the rear wing flap to move horizontally, lowering drag, increasing top speed, and therefore making passing moves easier. The system's availability is electronically governed. It can be used at any time in practice and qualifying inside pre-designed DRS zones. The DRS cannot be deployed at any point throughout the race. The system calculates the spacing between all cars using timing loops placed in the tarmac. If the pursuing car is within one second of the car in front when both cars cross the detection point, a light on the dashboard lights up, indicating that the driver can use the DRS in the following DRS zone. The DRS system remains active as long as the driver is using the accelerator pedal or until the driver presses the brake pedal. The flat returns to its normal high downforce configuration, producing downforce as soon as the driver begins braking for a corner. We must also account for the time it takes for the two airflows to reconnect, which takes roughly half a second. The system may not be used for the first two laps after a race start, restart or safety car deployments, like in the instance of the 2021 Belgian Grand Prix, when no driver could use DRS because the entire race was held behind a safety car before being called off due to bad weather. The defending driver can only utilise the system if they are within one second of another car in front of them. If the race director deems racing circumstances dangerous, like rain, as was the case during the 2011 Canadian Grand Prix, the system may not be enabled. Thanks for watching our F1 for Dummies video. We hope you learned something new today. If you have any recommendation of what you would like to see as another entry to this series, let us know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and series, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and ta -ra.